day went by like all the other days. Stale, heavy, moistened with grief. Same old story we lived with every wet pearl as it rolled down a cheek from her lids and slid on her lips. And a murmur, perhaps a mumble. Not enough breath, no twitch of the tongue to achieve speech. Just muttering stifled by the silence of a stunned night. How long had it been? Burst forth, screeching to a halt. Everything stopped. Wasn't that how it all started? The big bad blow. He's in love with... I won't recognize it because it is not my name. The goodbye is civil. Sharing of goods neatly packed, parceled and boxed by yet still hopeful hands. There are no tears, no sorries, no see you arounds. Straining resistance to track down words and take in the entire dissolving figure once revered naked. Too many times. The vanishing. All but her flesh and bones disappeared into thick murky air save a small section of her brain. The appropriate segment which pumps limbs with commands such as turn light on, turn light off. Get out of bed. Go shopping, buy food, eat, do not drink when not in merry mood, try to sleep. Do not attempt to think. There is no logic in love. Only in the lack of it. The following day, after months of rain, the stars turned green again. To some children throwing sticks and stones, she said, 
don't do that to my dog. He is young and knows nothing of the world. His heart is kind and untainted. He cannot bite. But I can. The kids ran away laughing. So did she. <laughs>